Well, some are traveling to watch the solar eclipse and some are staying here locally. I'm Mackenzie Diaz covering your community in San Luis Obispo with more on what you need to know about Monday's solar eclipse. Only a partial solar eclipse will be seen here on the central coast. So one San Luis Obispo resident traveled all the way to Belton, Texas to see the total solar eclipse. So this is actually literally the closest to San Luis Obispo. Um, that um, I can get to in a reasonable amount of time driving. Dan and four others from San Luis Obispo made the trip all the way out to Belton Lake. There was a lot of positive reviews from the last eclipse and so I thought I'd try it out. But with clouds and thunderstorms in the forecast, he isn't sure they'll see it. It may not be uh, what we expected. An eclipse of the sun happens when the moon moves between the sun and earth, blocking the sun's rays and casting a shadow on earth. Since the moon's shadow is not big enough to cover the entire planet, the shadow is limited to a certain area. So some places will have a better view than in San Luis Obispo, which will see about 40 percent of the eclipse. And now back over on the central coast, Luke Swindell has never seen a solar eclipse before. He's going on a field trip on Monday with his middle school class. Uh, I'm most excited about to see like all my friends reactions to like what it looks like. Swindell says they've been learning about the solar eclipse in school and he's fascinated with science. But, like the moon and like astronauts how they like take off and stuff and about like different like brands like SpaceX, NASA and stuff. Desiree Mendina only remembers a little bit of the solar eclipse from seven years ago when she was in middle school, but she now has plans to watch the partial solar eclipse. I'm just kind of excited to experience that moment that I didn't really remember back then. So I'm like, OK, now I'm excited just to just relax and just hoping to like get a spot that really nice view. In San Luis Obispo, the eclipse will start at 10.08 in the morning and go on for approximately two hours and 10 minutes. And if you're anything like me and you want to watch the solar eclipse from home but don't have solar eclipse glasses, you can try and make a pinhole camera like I did here out of a cereal box. It'll have more information on how you can do this on this story at KSBY.com. In San Luis Obispo, Mackenzie Diaz, KSBY News.